Hello and welcome to another crypto tips video and this video is more aimed at beginners who are new in the cryptocurrency space and want to understand what are some of the points that they should look out for when they get into a cryptocurrency project, not necessarily invest in it but maybe they want to get more information on it and then they're faced with these three points that I'm going to be discussing in this video and again it is more focused on the beginners it is part of the beginner series that I'm doing on crypto tips so yes please please do check the uh, playlist section for cryptocurrency beginners in order to get a list of all of these different videos which may be uh, more suitable for you and me you may find interesting perhaps right because you should know as much as possible when you join the cryptocurrency space things that you should look out for uh, just red flags and things like that right and hopefully they'll come in handy for you so we're going to be talking about point number one and that is reacting quickly and negatively so basically let's say uh, you're you found out about this cryptocurrency project you joined their telegram group you um, you realized that there are some red flags maybe or not necessarily that but maybe even some doubts with regards to the way they're conducting the project with regards to the team members perhaps so you're asking various questions right with regards to that and then you see the admin quickly reacting to your doubts and negatively as well they may even ban you right or maybe they even they might even mute you if you have some some doubts about it because they're worried that the rest of the community will see those messages people that haven't realized these uh, negative aspects of the project and of course it could cause a massive sellout right and if that happens then of course the project could go downhill and then they'll have to answer to the community right and we've seen this happen time and time again unfortunately sometimes these projects can come out of the red flag zone right because they've got basically good answers that they can cover themselves with but sometimes they can't and sometimes they'll just take action on you because they'll think that you're joining to FUD but not really maybe you've got a really legit concern so yeah if you see them reacting quickly and negatively then it's not good right it's uh, it's one of the red flags that you should keep in mind uh, when you join a cryptocurrency project they should be friendly they should be able to openly respond to your doubts now point number two they'll always find an excuse right and that is true i mean i've seen this time and time again when i've joined telegram groups i've asked some questions and they were finding all these different excuses like oh we weren't able to progress with this task because of this and that so because of the laser because of the market because you know the market's been doing really bad that's not an excuse right i mean if you're relying on the market doing well then what the heck are you doing are you in it just for the money or are you in it to actually progress to actually produce a product so that people can use that product okay maybe investors are in it for the money right maybe investors are in it for both the tech and the money but you as a company i mean you shouldn't have to find an excuse based on the market right market sentiment okay who cares about that if you're producing a good product it doesn't matter if the price is going down a lot of course people are going to be complaining about that but you've got the backing you've got the project progress you've got the updates you're constantly updating the community on twitter there's nothing you can do about the price right that's just normal market movement whales will always do what they want so finding an excuse that the market conditions is what's stopping them from progressing is just bullshit in my opinion and this is a, one of the second red flags that I find with some projects and that's why I'm saying that these are defensive crypto companies because they'll just try to find any kind of excuse not to give you a straight answer or will just not you know update people in their on Twitter or in the telegram group now let's talk about the uh, third point and that is you will never find out everything they won't tell you everything right and this is normal in a way because you as an investor have the right to know some stuff but you can't know everything right but i will say that there are things that they should tell you such as team wallets for example that they don't tell you right there are projects out there where you'll be asking them for the team wallet okay please give me the team wallet addresses for visibility and they will say no we will not give them to you we're not obliged to give them to you and then there are other projects that are posting them on twitter and are saying look we're locking up these many tokens in a smart contract so here's the smart contract address please check it you can see there are millions of tokens in here they're not going to get moved so of course you take a look and you see and of course you've got that on your radar because if you notice any movement the community will be going wild so hence why they're making this as transparent as possible whereas when a project company tells you sorry we're not going to to tell you the team wallet addresses because you know you don't need to know then that's a red flag because they obviously want to silently dump on you 
and I have seen this with a project, obviously I can't name it, you know, because I want to, uh, I don't want to basically name them out, right? But I have seen this with a project where basically one of the team members has actually moved tokens from his wallet over to the exchange. I mean, you can clearly see the movement from the wallet to the exchange when the price was doing well. So this is really scary, right? I mean, people are asking them in the community, what are the team wallets? They don't see them. But when you actually find out because you've been in the project from the early days and you keep track of that wallet, maybe the team member doesn't realize that somebody is actually keeping an eye on that wallet because they're not fudding in the group. They're quietly keeping it to themselves. But you see the movement, right? If you've got that wallet address, you see the movement. And it's not so difficult, right, to, to track down how they're managing different wallet addresses too because you could see where most of the tokens are held. And obviously that's usually the team wallet, right? Let's say, for example, a project has 1 billion total supply tokens uh, and you check that wallet, right, where it's being generated and then you've got uh, wallets that have like a large batch of those tokens. Okay, so you check those, you, you, you note them down, you keep track of them and then you see movement in between those wallets, right, in, in terms of millions. And maybe they're not necessarily moving out millions, but they could be moving out like hundreds of thousands, right, at a time when they see the price pop. So they should actually mention that. I mean, unless it's a team member who's getting paid and it's his personal wallet and he can do what he wants with it, then he should mention it, they should mention it to the community, in my opinion. And if they don't tell you that information, if they keep it hidden from you, then it's a red flag. So yes, they, they need to be open about this. You need to find transparency in project. If not, then they're defensive about it. And a defensive project is always a red flag. So yeah, these are the three points that I wanted to share for uh, the beginner tutorial series that I'm doing. Uh, I hope you found this interesting. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. If not, just let me know why not. And thank you very much for watching the video. Take care. Bye-bye.